an issue that we've been, on which we've been working for more than a decade, and that is uh, the transboundary water um, has, you know, known a very important development with the entry into force of the first global water convention. And this is really something we've been working on a lot, working with governments and with all stakeholders to accompany the decision making um, in these countries so that the countries would ratify this convention. And um, Green Cross was one of the two NGOs to participate to the first meeting of the parties uh, two weeks ago at UNESCO. And I'm talking about the entry into force of what's called the UN Watercourses Convention. The UN Watercourses Convention has finally entered into force. It's a very important development because uh, when we talk about transboundary waters, we talk about 60% of all fresh water on Earth. So it looks a bit macro, it looks very global compared to economy and the industry, but it's really what's and, and it, that's really about the, frame, the framework. It's really about how countries are going to agree on how water is going to be uh, conserved, how it's going to be shared equally, and how can, it's going to be managed jointly by the countries that share these waters. So it's extremely important that the right legal frameworks are there to support all human activities. So it's a very important development and we're very happy about that. Green Cross has also been uh, involved in uh, several COPs, uh, Conference of the Parties um, on Climate Change. We have advocated for a few years now with the AGWA platform, uh, which is a platform of water experts, policy experts. Uh, we've been advocated so that water is better addressed in the um, climate frameworks, future frameworks, because what is a climate change? Climate change is really water change. So it's really very strange that water is actually not addressed in the climate change uh, future framework. It hasn't been discussed. We haven't made it to have it properly uh, integrated in the discussions. So we really hope that actually there will be an important framework, something that allows important developments such as water. We, at some point, we advocated so that there was a working group on water, like there was one on agriculture and on forests. It hasn't happened. The, the, the negotiators were not ready for that. They were, they were still stuck at an earlier stage of the agreement. So we really hope that COP21 is going to be the beginning of something really new. There will be a water day during COP21, and we will take part to that. Um, and we hope that it will be the first step of more mobilization around water issues.